First of all, congratulations on You, Me, and Her. What a brilliantly written show. Thank you. Years ago, we had a show called Three's Company that was on in, in, in the 70s, and it touched on, you know, kind of a, a, a Disney version of a polyamorous relationship, if you will. Uh, but your show really cuts to the heart and gives us maybe an honest look at what a polyamorous relationship is all about. Yeah, we hope so. Um, <clears throat> that, was, that was kind of our hope when we started the show, is that we could kind of reflect a relationship that hasn't really been seen on television in an honest and accurate way. Yeah. Working in, in this modern world with uh, distribution companies like uh, AT&T Audience, which you're on, and Netflix and Hulu, I guess we're allowed a broader net. It, it, it gives you more leeway, and you don't have to deal with the traditional network uh, standards and practices. You can pretty much do anything. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are, we have a lot of room and we have an incredible amount of support from our executive team. Um, they love us and we love them and they love it's, working with us and we're, um, I'm just really grateful to yeah, have me them. too. And they're yeah. really accessible so I think if we were to have any, you know, places that we bumped up against or anything or, or trying to... They're very it, involved. Yeah they're, yeah, they're very involved. Yes. So it makes telling the stories um, a lot easier. Yeah. Working on a show like this, do you have a hand in how your character is developing? I mean, do you work with the writers and give suggestions? Uh, you know, are you are you doing some improv? Well, I think um, especially on long days, we we all, especially Greg, I would say, end up ad libbing a lot, which you know, and then you end up seeing some of those in the edits, which is always really fun. Yes, yeah, and you know. Um yeah, the ad libs and like we do give our 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 input from time to time, but y you know we're just kind of like in it. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate the chemistry between all three of you, and Greg is just amazing in this role. He yes, is. he is, and very funny. Very funny. I get the giggles really easily um, <laughs> over the smallest thing, and so Greg will. I think there's a fly on my face. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, there's just a fly on my face. Um, <laughs> you know, the but Greg will just have you in stitches, which I don't know if the crew appreciates it. Uh, but yeah, when I we're relate, like, yeah, when we've when got, it's like the when we've got hour five and, minutes to finish a scene, and we, and can't, we can't stop, stop laughing. laughing. In looking at some of the episodes, it looks like you guys are having an absolute blast doing this. Now, is this like a normal sitcom schedule where you're shooting an episode at a time, or is it a block shoot where you're doing? all the episodes at once. We, we block shoot all 10 episodes, uh, which means that you shoot all 10 episodes out of order. So you can do, you can be doing five episodes in one day. So you, re you really have to know where your character is and your arc kind of at any given moment. And yeah. we shoot it over seven weeks now? Seven Not weeks. Not including the prep week? Seven weeks, yeah. Um, so it's, it's pretty fast paced. Yeah, we have a lot of trust in yeah. each other um, and uh, we're constantly like where are we what's you know like what have we done what haven't we yeah. done and uh, <laughs> we really also trust everyone behind the camera um, our, we, we rely a crew yes and... we have an amazing crew who work really hard so um, we're all we're really a team we wouldn't be able to do this without mm -hmm. every single person I would imagine that after three seasons and going into your fourth season this crew becomes a family yeah. Yeah, we yeah. we've it's switched up a little bit over the years, but there's been a few people who have been there um, since the beginning, so it's always nice to come back to a few friendly faces. Yeah, and we're we're always helmed by these incredible women directors. And yes. So, and they they really steer the ship in a in yeah. a good way. This is one of those sitcoms that needs as much promotion as possible because it's hidden among everything else that's on streaming services and all. But this is, as I said, it's a brilliantly written program and I think it needs as much help to be discovered and hopefully it will be. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. we hope so. It, I know that, that. Um, yeah, so you can get, you can watch it on DirecTV's new streaming service, um, which is awesome here in the United States. Um, you can get it on Netflix internationally, um, so anywhere else, and then in Canada you can get it on HBO. So we are, you know, um, accessible. It's just having the right streaming service. In our final moments together, and I do thank you for your time, what are we going to expect out of season four, which is just launching now? Uh, Emma's pregnant, 
in the fourth season. Uh, they've moved back to the Burbs. They've had a commitment ceremony, so they're married. Mm -hmm. And now they really have to figure out how to make it work because the stakes are high with a baby coming in the picture. Yeah, so we kind of <clears throat> see we see the the three of us renegotiating like what is this going to look like now and our supporting characters too are also going through really intense um, shifts in their in their character mm -hmm. arcs so everyone is kind of going through change which is always exciting to watch so we hope that the audience enjoys I want to thank you so much for your time this morning, ladies. It was a pleasure to talk to you. The series is You, Me, Her. It is streaming season four on AT&T Audience. You can catch up to seasons one through three on DirecTV. And again, thank you so much. And what a funny and brilliant series it is. Thank, thank you. you so much.